This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Could it be Bob Denver, Karen Valentine, Walt, the cast of Soap, Henry Winkler, Mr. Ed and Wilbur, Marty J. Wiley, Mark Smidbauer, and in the center square, Wilbur Neal. All on the new... Tuesday at 6, Wednesday at 10, Thursday at 3. That Darren Pamela Ferdin. Um, oh, no, not another Burgess Meredith show. Um, This is the potpourri version of Vast Wasteland. Tonight. Today. Well, first <laughs> let me let's let's do the important stuff here. I guess to say that we're on at least um, at least twice. Wednesdays week. at ten and Thursdays at three on ACTV, and then possibly on Saturday too, but we don't know re- when really. That's like the guest thing. Okay. But but we don't have that Tuesday oh. at six time anymore, so we ignore we, that. Ignore you that. You can ignore the first yeah. one. <coughs> And if you want to write us and ask us how come we don't know these things, we're at box 15, 14, 11. Or if you have the answer. Columbus, Ohio, 43215. Write early and often, please. And use stamps that have rocket ships on them because we think they're pretty. And they're neat, too. And, and see, after tonight, today's show, whatever, whenever you're watching this one, after this show, I figure I'll probably get a lot of mail telling me I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Because I'm talking about things that I remember. I'm talking about Columbus the way it used to be. What we're going to do right here is go back, way back to when I was a kid. And we're going to talk about Columbus the way I remember it. The things that used to be there, the things that aren't there anymore, and my impression of the whole darn thing. <laughs> and I'm going to sit here and look at him adoringly. And, and, if, and, if, I, and if I get too wind up, I guess you'll just have to bop me on the head or something. Because this is, this is like a sore spot with me. There were, there were things that used to be around here, like... Well, downtown, you could, you could go downtown and you could, Jump into you could ride the bus downtown <laughs> and, and you could still do that, but, but you just can't do the same stuff downtown anymore. You could go, you could go to, uh, to the big department store downtown. You could go to Lazarus and now, go up to the, the sixth floor and there was a toy department up there. It took up half the whole floor. Toys, big toys, lots of toys, nice toys, toys, toys and more toys. 
and they were all up there. You could find any toy that you wanted up there. It was probably the biggest toy department in the whole city. But wasn't Lazarus at that time more like a department store, like a real, like a family, a family place? Yes, it was more of a family place then. Middle income. Exactly. For all. Yes. Not just for people with gold cards. And lots of money or anything. But it was, it was, it was, it was probably the best toy department in the city. And, and they used to have the, uh, the, the Santa stuff up there when it was Christmas time. You'd walk around and you'd see the Santa stuff and it was all up there and you could the walk stuff? into the, um, <laughs> into the magic toy area and Not see the magic all the kingdom? Santa stuff back there. And, but then they changed that. <laughs> And they got rid of the toy department. They've just moved it off to a little corner now. And, and, and the record department, there used to be a good record department there. There used to be records, Wilbur. There used to be records, period. That's true. There used to be a record department. It was, it was down on one of the other floors. And then they moved it up to the sixth floor also. And it got bigger. There was a bigger record department up there. And now they don't have that anymore. Where's the sixth floor now? The sixth floor isn't even there anymore. That's the whole point of the thing. They took away the whole sixth floor and turned it into something else. It's like a somebody's penthouse apartment now. We don't know what it is because the elevators don't go up to the sixth floor anymore. But that's enough about Lazarus, I suppose. Well, they don't do their tree on the roof anymore. That's true. On the water tower. They don't do the tree up there at Christmas time anymore. The big it light up the water tower Christmas tree. I don't know why they don't do that anymore, but they just don't seem to. At least for the past couple of years they haven't, so I guess they're not doing it anymore. But maybe I'm wrong about that, because you just can't see it because there's too many other tall buildings. Well, there's just a be, mall. It used to be tall. <laughs> it used to be tall. <laughs> they used to have a sixth floor, but it just doesn't have that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned the bus. Now, when I first moved up here, you, you had to pay to get downtown, but once you got downtown, the bus was free. Well, As long as you were in the downtown area, you could go bus to bus. And out. That was kind of one of Coda. Well, Coda. We can talk about Coda. Back early, early on, there used to be the Columbus Transit Company, CTC, and that back then it was. I don't even know how much it was to ride a bus because I never had to pay for it. The parents or whoever else paid for it. Were you and down then, with CTC? <laughs> well, you know me. <laughs> we were down there every Saturday, <laughs> and you'd go downtown on the bus. But back then, well. And then CTC got bought out by Coda. Coda back, it was about in 1970, well, it was earlier than 1976, actually, but their number used to be like 231-1976 um, or 1976. Well, anyway, anyway, but it was Coda, and we used to laugh about that because it was, it was the big orange bus, and none of the buses were orange <laughs> until they finally came out with a big orange bus because they were all like, yellow and orange kind of but then they came up oh. with the orange and white buses and they were like orange and white for a long time because i was talking about the big orange, orange and brown for a while well they were some orange and brown ones it too like there was one running not too long ago that they were just we used to run on broad but it i was, don't know but it Maine. became it became one of coda things. and that was like probably around the early middle 70s that coda became the the, Co the Central Ohio Transit Authority, instead of the Columbus Transit Company, the Central Ohio Transit Authority. And C CTC used to always sponsor the, um, just before Chiller Theater used to come on, they would do this thing where they would give you the, um, the times for the, and the weather and everything, and it used to always be sponsored by CTC. But, All the information but anyway, you wanted um, to know. Then it was Coda, and Coda used to have this thing going where once you got downtown, it was free within the downtown yeah. area. But, well, I don't know what happened to that either, but, well, it's not my place really to know what happened to that. Because it doesn't matter. I'm just talking about things that I used to remember and the fact that they're not there anymore. And then, well, let's see, what else was there? Well, back then, the Lincoln Lodeck Tower downtown. It used to be the tallest building in the city. And it used to just be way up there. It took years to get up to the top of the Lincoln Lodeck. It took me up until I was in the sixth grade to get up in the top of there. Were you walking? Yes. Well, no, we were on the road <laughs> but, um, and it wasn't like I was walking all that time to get there either. It was just we happened to take a field trip down there when I was in about the sixth grade and got to finally get up there and see just how tall it was and look out the little thin windows and see. And then they built the state office tower and it's 
many stories taller than that. Now they've got all kinds of buildings all over downtown that are just real tall, and poor little Lincoln Levesque Tower still sitting over there next to the RKO Palace. And let's talk about that, too. The RKO Palace used to show movies and have shows and things, and now it's just, I mean, they've, they're doing shows there now, but they just don't do the movies like they used to. And there used to be theaters downtown, too. By golly, you could go and you could see movies at the RKO Palace or over at the Ohio Theater. They would, and they still do do their summer movies. Yeah, I'll give them that. Good they do that. Fun. But there used to be the Hunt Center stage up, up High Street. <coughs> Excuse me. I saw My Fair Lady there, and it's not even there anymore. In fact, they'll, people would hardly even remember that there used to be a theater down there on Well, when High I first Street. came here, there was um, the World. The World Theater, Theater on High Street, which was neat and quaint and old and wood, and and they showed what? Oh, they just I saw the wall there. Well, that's that's your I saw other stuff up, there. Well, that's up, up High, High Street. Street. That's way up. Well, it's all downtown to me. Look where I came from. It's <laughs> way up past Lane Avenue there. We're fucking past campus there, but but there used to be even movie theaters on campus. But well, let's go back downtown first. They used to have the best theater. That well, heck, we saw so many movies there. We can't even count them all the Southern Theater, and it was down at, well, down there between Maine and, well, right there, just where the Southern Hotel is now. There used to be a theater there, and you could see matinees there on Saturday and Sunday, two or three movies. How much? Monster movies, oh, heck, I how don't remember how. Get? It was probably two dollars, two dollars, two fifty, something like that. No, I don't think it was like that, that much. Seems like your sister said it was like 75 or a dollar to get in. Well, maybe, but you always had enough money because back then money could buy you every. You could, <laughs> you could have a five dollar bill. You could ride downtown. You could have lunch. You could go see movies all afternoon. You could get popcorn and a drink and some candy. You could ride back home, and you'd still have enough to do it all again. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Back then, that was just great. But they used to. It was like um, the Southern Theater would show all the um, all the American international movies they could get a hold of, all the all the Hammer horror movies they could get a hold of, all the Japanese science fiction big monster tear down your city movies they could get a hold of, all the Gladiator movies, and then the Kung Fu movies came in, and they could see Kung Fu movies there all day. It like sounds like a drive-in. Well, it was, it was <laughs> like an inside drive-in, by golly, and everybody used to go to the Southern Theater after a while. <laughs> it was just great. You could Your parents could let you go for the day, and you'd be down there watching movies. Nobody got in the fights. You didn't have to. You'd watch the fights up on the screen, and it was wonderful. <laughs> and you'd have your popcorn and your candy. I uh, golly, it, it was just great. But, well, they don't it's have that there anymore. No more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, well, you were talking about the, the World the Theater. The World, I like the World. Up there, uh, that's north of Lane and High there. Well, by it's golly. It's a bodybuilder stupid club yeah, now. Yeah, it's like a tanning, like tan, your, that. tan your body and improve your mind. Ha, huh, please. Anyway, um, they used to have the, um, oh, right there at, let me see, what was it? It's on, it's, there's a, there's like a McDonald's there now, and the, well, La Bamba's in there now. Where used, is but it was a, McDonald's It was now? a Rex before that, but before then, there was the, um, that gun, what was that? The University Flick. It had another name before that, too, but back in, like, the middle 70s, it became the University Flick. And you could see all kinds of movies there, and they'd give out a little brochure showing you what movies were playing. And they didn't show the same movie all week. They would show, like, a movie, it would be three days, and then they'd have another one in there for two days, and they'd have another one in there for three days. And they just had a variety of movies coming in there, lots of classics and great movies. And I saw the Rocky Horror Picture Show there. I saw the previous one when I went to see Alice Cooper, Welcome to My Nightmare, and then... The Rocky Horror Picture Show was going to be the next movie coming there, and so we went and saw that. Back before everybody would get in there and scream and yell and talk along with the movie. Back when you could you could just watch it and enjoy the movie for itself without having everybody running down the aisles, having a show of their own there. But anyway, there was that theater too, and that was a great theater there, but it's, it's not there anymore. And well, by golly, if you'd go, well... <coughs> radiating from from downtown to go up Broad Street. There were two or three different theaters on Broad Street. You'd get up there about to where, well, across from where the state savings is now, where they got that mm -hmm. video store. That used to be the, um, the Carousel East. 
<coughs> and at the same time that they built the Carousel East, they had the Camelot North. Did your Carousel East have a little carousel out front? Well, no, it didn't. Because I believe there was a Carousel something in Dayton, <coughs> and I remember they just had this cute little, tiny, three or four horse carousel. It was pretty. If, if they did have a carousel, it was maybe only there for a little while, but it had these lights that were up in the, um, the awning to come in, and it made you look like you were shrinking as you went in because they were just done in, in um, varying, uh, it was like less lights as you went further down, and it was reflective, and so it looked like you were, it looked like you shrank as you went. It was a neat, neat. effect. But, um, well, they used to, they would just, that was for a while, they would show first-run movies, and then they got to the point where when the dollar theaters got to be real big, they would show movies for a dollar or a dollar fifty or whatever. But then after a while, they decided that that wasn't good enough either, and they had to get rid of it too. But then further down, you'd have the, uh, the town and country cinema, which was a general cinema. <coughs> what, the, me. the big white building. Yes, and there were several general cinemas around town. There was that one. There was the one at Eastland, the one at Northland, the one at out West at um, Great Western. There was the one at University City, and they just had a bunch of those general cinemas. And well, there may just be one of those now. But the town and country cinema, heck, I saw a lot of great movies there. I saw um, Jaws there, and, and Close Encounters, and, and, and just. A bunch of movies. A bunch of movies. <laughs> Back in the mid seventies, by golly, there were just movies going there all the And then further up, there's the Cinema East, the big the theater. Big one. And that's sad that that one's closed, because that's a neat place. We saw a lot of great street. movies there. We saw Planet of the Apes there, and, and, and I think we saw the last movie there that they showed, Indiana Jones and the. Uh, um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. That, that might have been. The, I think because I know we saw it there. <laughs> yep. And I think that was like the last one because it was like we drove by the next week and it was like closed. Finny too. That's really sad. That's a that's a that's a neat theater. But I saw a lot of I saw premieres for movies there. I saw the premiere for Star Trek Two. Yeah, Star Trek Two. I saw there and um, oh, there was a, a dry eye in the house there when when Spock went into that radiation <laughs> chamber and died. By golly, that was just great. A lot of movies there. Star Wars. Well, when Star Wars came out, we saw the previous words there, and we were we were just amazed. All this stuff going on on the big screen, and well, like it's gone now. They just don't have that one there anymore, and that's sad. Dad got it. And then they took them and they moved those theaters, and they started slicing them in half. You had your big theater, and they started cutting them in half. But before that, Northland. We went to Northland back when it first opened. And it was an open air. It was an open air ball open? then, and they had a big clock or something in the middle of it, with a big hand on it. And there was, we went there and we saw, um, <coughs> excuse me, we saw what's new Pussycat there. It was back in the <laughs> late, the late '60s, and we saw that movie there. And we saw, what else did we see? We saw Good Neighbor Sam, and we saw. We just saw a bunch of movies there. That was back when it was all big screen. Well, it was a, a cinemascope screen. What was the first covered mall in Columbus? The first covered mall in Columbus was Eastland. When Eastland opened, it was always 72 degrees at Eastland Mall. And they had this great big thing there in the center of it. Was There was oil coming down on it. And oh. there was one of those things that you wouldn't you'd always say. Those do not touch. Do not touch. It was one of them big do not touch oil You had to things. touch it. Everybody had to touch it because they said, don't do it. But it didn't hurt you. I we mean, found out how it worked, and it was no longer such. Well, a we never did know how it worked. They just the oil ran down the strings. Oh, it, yeah, we saw it running down the strings, and it was just neat, though. But we never knew what it was really, or why it was even there. It was just art for the sake of being art, and it was just there. And they had these statues at Eastland that they used. They used them at Ameriflora there too. People running and not getting anywhere because they were statues. But anyway. They were just there, and, and it was a neat place, but it was always 72 degrees at Eastland Mall. And they'd always run these things. They'd run these uh, things talking about, oh, it's 60 degrees outside, but it's always 72 degrees at Eastland Mall. Or it's 84 degrees outside, but it's always 72 degrees at Eastland Mall. We kept waiting and waiting, and finally they had today. It's 72 degrees, but it's always 72 degrees at Eastland Mall. We thought that was the funniest thing in the world back then. It was just great. <laughs> and then Westland. Westland was out there, but Westland, I guess, had been there for a while. It's just that when they started up this mall thing with all these different stores, they decided to put 
more stores out there too. And so, um, cause there was a, a Lazarus, they had a Lazarus downtown, of course, for the whole time. And then when they built Northland, they put a Lazarus there, and they had a Sears. And we never had Sears in, in Columbus before that. Didn't have that. Sears? We didn't That's have true. Sears. You didn't have it. Sears? No, we didn't have Sears. Well, and see, so, where I grew up, we didn't have Lazarus, but now Lazarus is down there. Well, Lazarus. Because they brought, when they bought out Shilatos. Yeah, when they bought Shilatos. The Cincinnati area, Shilatos. <laughs> but see, I grew up with a mall. I did not know there were not malls in the world because Tri-County Mall down in the Cincinnati area was always there. It's like the oldest mall in existence in the United States or something. Well, now, I'll beg to differ there because according to uh, facts and figures in books you can find around here, Town and Country Mall, but Town and Country mall. Town and Country Shopping Center was the first shopping center in the whole but it's open. world or something. Yes, it was, it was Tri County Mall's always been a covered indoor mall. Okay, well. But I think it's like the oldest, if not in a, if not in the United States in Ohio or something. It's a really old mall. I, I grew up not knowing that there were places like Columbus that did not have malls. Okay, well, they, um, we just went along and see um, Westland when it first started. It was an open air one, too. Eastland was the first one that was really covered around here. That was, that was just an amazing thing to go to Eastland and see all these stores and walk around. And, and that, you didn't have to wear your coat. You could take your coat off and Put it in a, lo in a well, locker. Well, no. Wait a minute. Did they have lock? I don't think they had lockers then. You had to kind of carry it, but still, you could just go there because it was always 72, 72 degrees at Eastwood Mall, and you could just walk around and see all the stores and things. And well, they've gone through several stores since then, but still, the main ones were always there. The Lazarus at one end, the Sears down at the other end, and the Pennies there in the middle. It was just amazing. See, there used to be a lot of J.C. Penny stores around town too. There was. Um, there was one at Northern Lights, which which has been there, gee, almost forever. There was one at... Northern Lights had a Pennies? Yeah, Northern Lights had a Pennies. Um, Graceland had a Pennies. Gee, uh, Central Point had a Pennies. Um, of course, there's a Pennies at Westland and one at... Eastland? North, well, Northland. Northland didn't have a Pennies for a long time, actually, until they built the new wing onto there and put it down at that one oh. end. But... They didn't have a penny Tell there for a long time, but, um, yeah, Northern Lights, Graceland, um, well, South, well, Southland never actually became South. It was Great Southern. Great Southern had a penny's, um, I believe Great Eastern had a, well, no, well, maybe. Didn't really go to Great Eastern a lot. Anyway, but <clears throat> I think there might have been a penny's, there were just penny's stores all over the place. And <laughs> then they, they started kind of. Jeff Montgomery Ward. Yeah, and Montgomery Wards, sure we did. And Montgomery well, we Wards um, had a great store at Northern Lights called the Boston. Well, no, yeah, there was a Boston store there at Northern Lights because that's where I got a lot of my GI Joe stuff. I would rate stores on how good their toy department was. They had a pretty good do. toy department. And by golly, well, that's a good thing. To, that's a good place to start in a, in a store. You go in and see what their toy department's like, and you can pretty much tell the caliber of the store. By golly. Because if it's a good family store, they should have a good family toy department. So that you can lose the kids in. That's right. Keep those kids amazed or amused for hours. And then there, there were just stores that were just pretty much toy stores, but we didn't have those until like the early 70s either. But anyway, there was um, stores like Kresge. Kresge, which was like a great um, dime store, which that's just a concept that's lost on a lot of people now. They're happy to find a dollar store now. But Kresge was, was a great Kresge. store, and they, you'd always go to Kresge, and they'd have these little things that say um, on them, they'd have this big K. It was, it was, for Kresge? It was K for Kresge. And see, Kresge went out of business, and immediately we got, boom, Kmart, because Kmart, Kresge became Kmart. There's some history for you. Kresge you became have Kmart. Murphy's? Yeah, we had Murphy. DC Murphy's? We had some Murphy stores. McCrory's. No, These are all dime stores. They didn't have a McCrory's, really. McCrory's. Although we would travel around and see them other places, Dayton. and we'd hear about them from yeah. other places. But um, yeah, there was Kresge. There was um, okay. There's Woolworths, and there used to be Woolco, which was the big Woolworths, and they had lots the of stuff. Now. And it was um, it was like a bigger department store because um, Woolworths was 
it's it's still kind of you know it's, it's kind of small, but Wilco was just big. It was huge. Now downtown. They had a good toy department. Yeah, a record department too. They got it. <laughs> downtown there's a Woolworths. Yep. And, and it's like it's like when you go forever. in there when you like go in there it's like stepping back because it's like department stores that I remember and it's like not changed. Well, it it. I mean, it's changed, but it's not changed. It's got the counter where yep. you can go and get greasy food or whatever. But it's it's got the escalator. Remember when escalators were like amazing things? And escalators were scary things, and they still are scary for kids. But you don't things. have to worry. I don't think any more little kids are going to get sucked down in there and can't get out because that just doesn't happen anymore. Because escalators are safe now. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, it's used to go to Schottenstein's and they had an escalator and I'd sit there and push the button if they don't push it. Whoops! <laughs> but I guess that still happens, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like an old, it's just like an old piece of history there because it's, it's just old and you walk in and you think everything in there is going to be old or something. And then, <laughs> hey, somebody's having a party in a parking lot. I'll I see y'all later. <laughs> there used to be, in, in, in Woolworths downtown, there was a, um, I was behind the um, the counter where they, well, I guess it used to be a soda fountain. It used to be this big rubber head of Elsie the cow back there. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like a scary thing. <laughs> but it used to sit back there, and after a while, Elsie just seemed to like she was losing parts of her. It's like one horn missed or something. <gasps> or used to, the ruffles started falling off. Because rubber will do that for after a while. If you keep it in a hot place, things will just start falling off of it gradually, it'll chip and it'll just crack and fall off. Used to have some good pizza there, but then it started getting nasty because they started doing the sauce different and putting, it just made nasty. it sick. Did y'all have <laughs> Potter's? Potter's shoe stores up here? Nope. Nope. No Potter's shoe stores. Back, in fact, one well, of the best shoe stores back then was Lazarus. Lazarus had a <laughs> good shoe store and they used to sell you your Buster Brown shoes or you could get kids there and anytime they had um there were no stride right stores in really either stride right to go like to potters in tri county <coughs> to get stride right and then you would get a potsy balloon which was a, a balloon with a big nose a big head and a body and they put some cardboard feet on the bottom yeah those cardboard feet balloons those were lots of fun used to be able to get those a lot of places bbf used to have them but i guess we'll have to talk about bbf, BBF. another time but Lazarus, you'd talk about your shoe stores. You'd always be able to go there and you'd get the shoes and get the prize that came with them. Always look for Buster Brown to be living in that shoe and tying in there too, but that never really happened. But kids used to always have great kids. Kids was a sneaker. Back Red when ball sneakers jet. were all sneakers and Red Ball Jets Red and jet. PF Flyers. And they're bringing them back. <clears throat> That's right. PFs are back already. And I think Red Ball Jets are probably on their way back too. Kids never know. really left. They just kind of stayed along and grew with the times, but... They don't give away toys anymore with them. They give away neat toys. You <coughs> get parachutes and a neat toy and a potsy balloon. You can always get toys. They don't get nothing. You get whistle or something, something. Decoder things and stuff. Yeah, decoder things. Things from that the astronauts would use. Yeah. <laughs> that was always great. And daggone it, I've just about <laughs> talked out the whole time that we have here. So we're going to have to do Burley, this again. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, next time we get together, I guess it'll be the, uh, the comic book show again. And there'll be another uh, another TV show or something. Mark and keeps track of that. Like, don't know whether it'll be comic books again or whether it'll be this one again. But the next time I'm on here, I'll have some more to say about the way Columbus used to be. But until then, <coughs> ah, excuse me, <laughs> getting old already. Till then, I'm I'm Robert Neal. <laughs> She's laughing. That's too bad. <laughs> I'm getting older as I sit here. <laughs> But we'll have some more to say about Columbus the way it used to be. We'll have some more to say about Columbus. I'm not from here. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland.